Hey everyone, it's Rochelle and welcome back to my channel. Today's look is inspired by Beyonce's latest music video, Formation. If you want to see how I achieve this look, then please continue to watch. I always use a primer before I apply my foundation. Today I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is the one I use all the time. And this is just going to ensure that my foundation lasts all day long. Now we're going to move on to foundation. Today I will be using the Max Duty Fix Fluid and I'm using the Cover Effects Natural Radiance and I mix them together. I've been noticing that my Studio Fix Fluid uh, NC45 has been looking a bit on the orangey side. So that's why I'm mixing these two together just so the shade looks right on my skin tone. And plus I like the finish of them together and I'm using a damp beauty blender sponge to apply my foundation now I'm gonna do a bit of color correcting I normally apply this first before I apply my foundation but I kind of forgot to put it on so I'm gonna use the Mac Pro conceal and correct palette in the shade medium deep I'm using the orange shade and I apply it under my eyes because I do have some dark circles and I apply it at the outer corner of my lip because I have a little bit of darkness there but you probably can't see it because of my lighting and then I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it out with my damp beauty blending sponge and I'm gonna go back over and add a bit more foundation to cover the orange now we're going to move on to highlight and I'm going to use a concealer that is a few shades lighter than my skin tone. This is the LA Girls Pro Conceal HD Concealer. It is amazing for highlighting and this is in the shade Pure Beige. So I'm just going to apply it under my eyes and blend it out with a damp beauty blender sponge. You guys see what I do all the time when I do my highlight. So I just apply it under my eyes, my chin area, my cupid's bow, center of my forehead and down my nose. Now I'm going to take the matte mineralized skin finish and this is in the shade sun power I've been using this a lot to contour lately and I apply it on the hollows of my cheek along my forehead area The brush that I use is the Zoeva. I believe this is the 101 face defining brush not exactly sure But I will list it in the description bar down below and I'm not doing any cream contour today Because I just been really into the powder contour, but every now and then I still do my cream contour, but yeah Next, I'll be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I've been using this quite a lot. I haven't really been using my Ben Nye Luxury Powder in the shade Banana too much. This has been like my go-to powder. So I just apply it under my contour and that's gonna clean up my contour. Also, I apply it under my eyes. So all in the areas that we've already highlighted. So this method is called baking. Some people call it cooking, but I just love the way it makes my makeup look. And I have a more detailed video all about highlighting, contouring, and baking. So we are going to move on to the eyes and I'm gonna fill in my brows first. Now we're gonna move on to the brows. So today I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. I don't know why I say today I'm gonna use, like I use it all the time. It's one of my favorite products to fill in my brows with. I just feel like it's really easy to work with. And I also went into the Benefits Browsing. I've been loving this powder a lot lately. And I'm using an angle brush to apply. I don't know the number of the brush, but it's by MAC. But I will put all the um, brush numbers and stuff in the description bar down below. So please do not forget to check that. Now to clean up my brows, I'm gonna use a concealer that is a couple shades lighter than my skin tone and I just apply it under my brow bone as a brow bone highlight. This step is completely optional. You don't have to do it. I just like the way it makes my brows look. And then I'm gonna add some loose powder onto my eyelids because they're a bit on the oily, shiny side and I just need my eyeshadow to stick to something. So I'm actually not using an eyeshadow. I'm using the Makeup Addictions Light Reflecting Loose Powder. It's like a bronze shade and I'm gonna apply it all over the eyelid. Throughout the music video, Beyonce's eyelid had like a glossy eyeshadow look to it. Like it looked very neutral skin, but it had like a glossy look to it. But the glossy eyeshadow look is not really wearable. It looks really nice in photos and videos and stuff like that. So I wanted to do something that was more wearable. So I went with the loose powder and I love the way it looks. You guys, this is probably the easiest eye look I've ever done. So this is the only thing I'm wearing on my eyes today. And we're going to move on to mascara. I'm going to take the Makeup Forever Mascara and I'm going to apply to my little tiny lashes. You can use 
any mascara of your choice that's the one that was closest to me so I just grabbed it and then I'm gonna add some false lashes today I'm gonna use Demi Wispies by Ardell and I applied some glue onto it and I'm just gonna put them as close to the natural lash line as possible because I will not be doing a liner so I want it to look really natural as possible so you just got to put them really close to your lash line Next I'll be dusting away the excess powder and I'm using the Hourglass Ambient Lightning Palette and I just started using this because of my friend Aiden Empire, I saw him using this in his video and I just love the way it makes his makeup look so I use it under my eyes to dust away the excess powder. I feel like it makes under my eyes look a lot more smoother and not powdery and the brush that I use to dust away the powder, oh my god you guys I can't even talk, the brush I use is the Smith Cosmetics, I think this is the 112 brush and I'm just going to go back in and add some more bronzer on my face just to bronze my skin up and do a bit more contouring so I went back into the Sun Power powder now moving on to the bottom lash line I'm still taking the matte mineralized skin finish in Sun Power and I'm just gonna apply it along my bottom lash line just to add a bit of like shadow and then I'm gonna go in with some mascara and apply it onto my bottom lashes the eye look is very, very neutral and soft. I love the way it turned out. And then I'm going to go into my absolute favorite highlighter. This is the Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo. I've been using this so much. You guys see me using this on my snap a lot. I freaking love it. So it's just going to make my cheeks nice and glowy. I put it down my nose and above my cupid's bow as well. Now we're going to go ahead and line the lips. So I'm using my cork lip pencil. I pretty much put cork on everything. You don't really have to line the lips, but I love lining my lips, especially when I'm wearing lipstick because it helps me to stay in line and not go over. So I'm going to use the shade. It's by Maybelline. What is the name of the shade? Let me try and find that out. I believe this is called the Cream Matte Pencil Smudger in the shade 35 Plum. And then I'm going to go into the Dose of Color Brick Rose. So it's a liquid matte lipstick. And I felt like it looked a little bit too much on the red side. And Beyonce's lip shade had more like a, a deep kind of like a deep reddish purple I think from the video I can't remember but anyway so I added another shade on top I added colored rain rain fever but I lost that clip you guys so yeah this is pretty much the completed look I hope you guys enjoy this Beyonce inspired formation look I absolutely love how it turned out and I'm loving that video so yeah if you like this look give me a thumbs up comment down below let me know what you guys want to see next and I will see you in another video very very soon I I love you guys. Bye. Slay. <laughs> Bye, guys.